Hello, welcome to the taster session for novel writing. My name is Richard House. At the start of a long project, it often helps to figure out the why. Why do you want to write a novel? Do you have something to say? Or do you have an idea you want to develop? Um, maybe you just like the activity of writing and you want to be immersed in something for a longer period? Or do you want to develop specific skills? Perhaps there's some specific research you would like to do. It helps to have a basic idea about why you're going to engage in this, because novel writing is going to take time. It's a considered activity and it requires commitment. It's also potentially quite isolating. Murakami compares writing to the discipline of running a marathon, and it's a really good analogy. But for the first time writer, or for the unpublished writer, there's a lot more to it than that. Because at the moment, you don't need to just write the book. You need to become aware of the potential for the book, the context for it. And publishing, at the moment, is a very conservative business, and it's going through a rocky period. And you will need some fairly persuasive skills to promote your idea to an agent, to a potential publisher. But the basic idea that this is an activity which demands sustained and continuous work, discipline, is bang on the mark. There's no exact time period for writing a novel. It just depends on the subject and the task, and your ambitions for the writing. It might be a significant commitment in terms of time. It could be several years. It could be, I don't know, a decade, let's say. There's no proper measurement here. But the intention with taking a course is that you're going to take the basic steps towards complete to, towards imagining, realising and completing that novel. You're going to be building a platform for that to happen. And this means that you're going to want to work in an area which sustains your interest. And you're going to want to be able to break from the writing, to refresh yourself, to find sources of information, people to speak with, other avenues uh, to explore. It's difficult to imagine a novel that doesn't depend on characterization. It's difficult also to imagine a novel where the characters and the subjects of the novel aren't somehow linked. And this can happen in any number of ways. You could approach this through a subject, you might have an idea for a story, or through characters, like you have an idea for the people who populate the novel. Joyce Carol Oates, in uh, one of the examples I've posted uh, up uh, for this, speaks uh, about her writing practice and says that she approaches writing a novel through characters, that that's the starting point from her. And um, through developing these characters, through actually sitting down and writing, she will then come up with the subject. So let's think about those two aspects and just I'll give you two scenarios to play with in your, in your mind. Now, let's approach this novel with, um, from a situation from a subject, so we need a problem. Imagine this. A man wakes up in another country, he is naked and he is blue, literally blue, head to toe. He only speaks English and he doesn't know where he is. Okay, that's your premise. So start imagining from this. Okay, what does he see about him? How did he get into this situation? You need to develop this so that the idea can be sustained, so that it's more than a, a, a pitch. At the moment it's just a pitch, but it needs to become richer. And think of this as being driven by external events, um, that it isn't so much about the character, but about the situation he's found himself in, and how that situation is going to be explored, how it's going to be developed, the kind of people he bumps into, and the events that happen. So you have a very basic proposition and how are you going to move forward from that proposition and make it a rich, sustainable idea. Alternatively, think of a different situation. Um, and this time I want you to consider characters. Here's the image. A couple bring a newborn child into a motel room. The child isn't theirs. Right. Now, develop this. Who is the, the man? What is his relation to the woman? And what is his relation to the child? Think about the woman. 
what is her relationship to the man and similarly what's her relationship to the child what are these two people three people doing in the motel room now I want you to think of this a little differently think of this in terms of interior so who are these people what do they think about each other how do they deal with each other publicly how do they interact to each other how do they address each other what language do they use when they speak to each other are they polite are they blunt do they show their moods or do they hide are they disguised uh, do they disguise their feelings or you know how do they publicly out in the open deal with one another now interior what is the stuff that they can't talk about who are these people to themselves um, how does this man privately regard this woman how does this woman privately regard this man maybe she thinks he's a bit of an idiot but she's along the right uh, along uh, for the ride with him who knows you need to invent these things start to debate both interior and exterior how these people deal with each other how they've um, arrived in the situation but we're thinking about their characters which means that you have to start building up the relationships around them uh, you need to start considering their family do they have family how do they get on with their family how do they relate to the people about them are they the kind of people who don't have friends or do have friends do they have one particularly close friend do they have do they tell the truth are they liars do they have of course they do. Do they have preferences for this, that, um, food, scents, um, I don't know, events in the history? You have to start constructing these things, building them up to, to imagine these people in a complete sense. I guess the one thing that you need to, to consider is that you want to make these people as complex as you can. And you want to devise two people that you've never encountered in fiction before. So that's pretty much what I'm going to go. That's pretty much it for the introduction. I want you to think to consider those two propositions: the subject, which is the man wakes up in another country, he's got no clothes and he's blue, or the two people who come into a motel room with a newborn child that isn't theirs. Debate this in your head, mull these over and see what you can come up with. Oh. Here it is.